welcome to today. Happy Bye. Saturday. You wanted me to lock the door when I came. I locked the Don't door. Lock the door. I locked you in. I locked you in the house. I know sometimes my brain doesn't work as good as you think it would for my age. <laughs> I think I'm on the decline, you guys. Anyway, actually, I think I'm smarter than I've ever been. You're smarter than me. Everyone knows that. Well, Sophie and I are really similar in how we learn and how we think. <laughs> so I told you guys before, Sophie and I have been not eating hardly any sugar. Sophie and I have been trying to eat really healthy lately. But she had a fun day when Kaylee was over the other day and she ate a little bit of junk but other than that we've been doing really well and she she just keeps on waking up saying how much energy she has so that's super good I'm super proud of that um anyways Gabby is at Kaylee's house hmm, big surprise right Kaylee is always a Gabby is always at Kaylee's house uh today's a special day it is the day before Kaylee's birthday and they are going for a special birthday celebration with her with her parents with Kaylee's parents I'm excited for Gabby to get to do this. It's something that she has actually never really done before. It's nothing huge, but it's something exciting for me and for Gabby. Sophie wouldn't probably care. But anyways, um, so she'll be back tonight. Today we are headed out to do our Saturday shopping. So yeah, let's get to it. We found a big huge yard sale and they want us to wear masks, so we are wearing masks. Change! Change! Sophie and I no. are twins again. Black shirts and skirt. Cute. Oh, Dad needs that. Tell him to come get that. Got so much stuff here, you guys. We could take up golfing, Sophie. You want to take up golfing? Yeah, I'm not good at golfing. No, I'm not golfing. I like to buy stuff for the grandkids. One of my favorite things to do. I also like to buy books at yard sales. Can I get the dog? No, no stuffy, Sophie. We grew out of stuffies. I need some we are, stuff is our thing of the past. That chair is super cute. There is a lot of stuff here. That's neat. What is that? Dad said no junk. I like wool though. Alright, let's keep going. Clothes. Oh, there's Sophie. There's a, there's a mask for you. Jacob. Jacob. Look, there's a fun squishy. I found the book section. There's a double stroller, stroller, luggage, carpet. Monopoly. This is a huge yard sale. We got bones. So we found bones. I found a couple of books. I actually wish I had donated a bunch of stuff to this yard sale. There's hockey stuff. Look at all that hockey stuff. Okay, so what I got for the dogs at this yard sale is a rope toy thing which is good for Molly to play with. And then I got some bones. So this is all about her pets. Peyton? I want to say hi to Olivia. Say hi to Olivia. Hi. No, Elizabeth. Elizabeth. I'm like, wait a minute, that's Olivia? Elizabeth. What the heck? Sophie's been getting so many friends lately, she doesn't even know their names. Okay, so I got these two books because I love these authors. I love Joyce Mayer. I don't have this book, but I've read a bunch of her books. It's a spiritual book. I haven't been reading them for a long time, and I, to, I really want to start again. And I also love this author, and I have a couple of her books. Or yes. And so I got that. And then I got an alphabet book for baby Jack. I love these things. I love that. Jot while you trot. This is all their horse school stuff. Oh, they have cute lunch bags. And oh, look at the water bottles. They're really cute. That one's so cute. I always like this one. This Rambo one. Love it. Okay, so we're at the pack store getting all the stuff we need to get storm good. And I'll show it all to you after. Um, I asked them if they have an Australian stock saddle, and they do. She said she's had it for a really long time, but I was in the market one for one before. I kind of, I want to do like, I want to do saddle shopping. I want a light saddle. That's another big thing. We have a bareback pad. This is cute. No, is don't. this it? Oh my god, this is the saddle I want. I love this. I think this is the side saddle. No, this is a stock saddle, I feel like. A Wintech. So the reason I like Wintech, even though not everybody does, look at how comfy that looks. Um, is because it's light and I want a light saddle. I don't want a big, huge, heavy 
saying, look at that. Do you think this is the one she's talking about? I don't want brown. I want black. The thing about the Wintech is that my trainer says that they don't give the way leather does. But I don't, this one gives. And it has the care system. And what happens is that it's adjustable so you can make it fit your horse. And I know that, she, that I've ridden in one like this. I like it. I don't know if it's my size. Wait, there's another. Yeah. This is a sign, you guys. Did you just put that there? No. This is a sign. There's two. And they're no. on sale. Okay, I would like to try it, but I'm wearing a skirt. It's different, though, than the one that... Like, that's weird how the stirrups go in. It's got a nice round butt. I just don't know if it's big enough for me, to be honest. So it's got this easy change fit solution. I like it. It's short. And I like that it's short because it's a short backed horse. Mm -hmm. Like a short, yeah. So look at that. And it's actually a lot heavier than I thought it was going to be. Sophie's in love with this. She wants this for the shows. But it's two hundred fifty dollars. I'll get it for my birthday. All right, you want that for your birthday? Like I'd go for it for a birthday I'm present. Gonna... But you wouldn't even be able to use it till next year's shows. Well, yeah, next year's shows. Maybe for Christmas. Yeah. Anyway, I like it. I can't try it today because I'm wearing a skirt. But the only thing I don't like about it is it's really heavy, heavier than my kids' saddles. So if you found this one, Does what it is have this? Yeah, this is treeless. What do you guys think about treeless? Lift it up there, Sophie. I like it, actually. Oh, that's light. You remember when we used to go tax or saddle shopping? Oh, I like this it. So light. All right, you guys, tell me what you think about treeless. I mean, it's kind of cheap, but it's super light. It, it doesn't feel like it will stand up. It's made by Tough One. I love that company. I didn't know they made it. And it's under $500. It's size medium. So even though I have learned a lot about saddles from way back when we used to come looking at saddles and dreaming about saddles, I've learned a ton. I still need to research this a bit more because what I thought I wanted was this, but there's no way. It's so heavy. It's heavier than every, like it's heavy. Sophie thinks we should get a Western saddle, but I want, I want something like this, an Australian stock saddle, or I want an endurance saddle. If you guys have this WinTech Easy Change Gullet System Care System WinTech uh, Australian Stock Saddle, tell me in the comments below what you think of it. All right, to be fair, the uh, WinTech saddle that I lifted up is not as heavy as a Western saddle. Why do they make saddles so heavy? That just seems not fair to the horse. Oh, this one's so light. I do like this one too. It's nice, it's comfy. It's comfy. I like the padded Just, seats. I don't like the horn when you get off. I don't like the horn either. Did you guys did you guys see the Can story? I want to take this off. Alright. Did you guys hear the story about what happened when I was riding the first time with a western saddle? Alright, we've got everything that we need, but we like to take a look around and make sure there's nothing else we need. I want this. That one's but cute. Not in your yeah. But would you break your Lemieux record? I get another saddle pad. I like the I like the orange. Mom, I don't like the color of the So I'm gonna obviously need to use my western saddle pad. Don't want an English saddle. Feel it. So we finally do have two half pads now. Gabby's is red though. I'm not sure that that's good for us. Come she wants one that you can put shims in it. Come here now, Come here now she says. Look at this is actually like a rain sheet. Blanket. I know I tried to get her this last year but it was too small they don't have any of her size uh, we're gonna order her a blanket because we need to get the exact like right size yeah it's like this one that's oh. for Finn yeah she, they can't have fuzzy ones for outside they'll get wet and frozen we're also gonna like try and get our horses really nice horse blankets for the new barn matching ones I want them all to match get this. I like the plaid I don't know Call me crazy, but I like she the plaid. Good in plaid. I like black too. I think a horse looks regal in black. Yeah, let's get this. So the thing I wanted to ask you guys though is that our blanket that we use the most in fall and spring is an insulated rain sheet because it's a bit warm and it protects them from the rain. Like it's my favorite blanket. Mom, we won't use a winter blanket this? until like November. Do you know how thick this is? Yeah. But then 
We all know this is the best one. <laughs> no, I almost bought this before. It's too heavy. You did buy that. Yeah, and it's then I brought it back, and it was too hard on my arms to lift it. We have this. Yeah. And don't we have this? Yeah. Mm. We have all the ugly ones. We have this for Willow. Okay, this is cute. This is it. Oh my god, yeah. But this is just a rain sheet. I don't ever buy just a rain sheet because if it's warm, they can be out in the rain. So why buy like, I mean, you could put this over top of a warmer blanket. But I hate doubling up on blankets. Wait, Sophie's like, let's go. And I'm like, wait, I need to see my, my cheap section, my budget section. This is a, my favorite place. Like, this is cute. It's only $40. We also already have winter jackets. $50. What is it? Dan has this halter print. Oh yeah, he does. On his halter. Yeah, he it's cute. Matching. But it's not his size. And what kind of blanket is it? It's a blanket. But you have to know what kind. It's a blanket. We need insulated rain sheets. They're in love with this. There's know. a sale. So it's 20% off. It's 20% off the lowest price. So this jacket is $50 plus 20% off. So it's such a good deal. And this is twenty dollars plus twenty percent off. So it's your dollars. No. They don't have Sophie's size, so you should make a shirt like this. Put that bigger. Yeah. Yeah, I like that shirt with that logo. I'll tell Dad to make that. This is and it'll say day by day in the middle of it. Oh I love that. Oh my god, you should make that. <gasps> That's so nice. Alright, so I was able to show shirts. Yeah, this is where we bought our show shirts. I was able to talk to Give the lady that, that works here about the Australian stock saddle. She actually said that they're really popular. People love them. I just, I need to just double check. I need to see what she's being ridden in right now. Can I, get some more breeches? I need to see all of it. You I need more breeches. breeches. Are they your size? We got our stuff and there's Miss Holly. You guys remember, this is the reason we have a border collie. Look how small she is. I didn't ever realize she was so small. She is tiny. Wow, our dog's almost this tiny. Whoa. That's what Molly does. This is what Molly does. Come here. Sit. Sit. Back up. Sit. She's like, no, I am not sitting. I'm just all about the running. Take me, take me, throw me, throw me. Such a pretty girl. Why used to think she was so big? She is a short dog. Isn't she short? Back up. Back up. <laughs> That's the future Molly, you guys, and I think we're actually almost there. We should have brought Molly. Another two months, and I think Mo our Molly will be full grown. I learned something here today. I learned something at the Bridal Path Tax Store. I learned something. Yeah, Remember I told you guys there's so much stigma about the Pasofinos? And I realized that when I was like looking at the saddles and explaining what I wanted and how I wanted a light saddle for a Pasofino breed, they asked me if I was gonna get a Paso and I said yes. And they said, wow, that's amazing. I'm so excited for you, how amazing. Like people who have judgments or and say mean negative things to me about getting a Paso, they're just not nice people. I think that's what it all comes down to because in reality, People should get what they want, no matter what, no matter what you feel about it. And I also said this, I asked, I talked to them about the saddle and how it's synthetic. And I said, you know, I've heard that leather moves and breathes and synthetic is just plastic and sits there and it's not the same. It's not as comfortable for the horse. And for a long time, I would never ride in my Western saddle on Stella because I was worried that it was gonna hurt her. And they said, that's totally not true at all that it and i felt it and it was so flexible and so like movable way more than our well the same as our leather saddles anyways that's the thing i wanted to tell you guys and i was thinking about it in the last few days is that a lot about life is decoding what other people say and when they say ew don't get that they're gross usually what they mean is ew don't get that i don't like it because one time when i was six I had it and I hated it or they have like a personal problem with a thing that's based on an experience they had so just because somebody else doesn't like something it doesn't mean that you're not gonna like it so it is so important to always 
try and do the things that you love and research and think about things even when people give you a negative opinion of it because what doesn't work for them might work for you and I don't want to be that person that misses out on something amazing something that God has planned for me because somebody else doesn't like it and he didn't have it planned for them hope that makes sense it's getting hot out it was nice and cool in the morning and that's what fall weather is like here all right let's do the tack haul all right so Sophie ended up getting this coat and the reason is I don't know if it'll be warm enough though it yeah, is it's good for riding because it's yeah. lightweight and so it's a noble outfitter coat. It's a really nice jacket. It's um, called the Aspire jacket. Anyways, it's a warm winter jacket. Water resistant and insulated for warmth. Anyway, she got it. It was $50. It's hard for her to find jackets that she likes. It's hard for both of my kids. It was 50 bucks and plus 20% off. Isn't that a good deal? We also got five bags of shavings because y'all know that we're going to need shavings for the next week or so. This is a supplement that Chino is on for his feet. He's been on it for two. This is his second bag that we've given him. It has biotin and trace mineral supplements for horses. Our farrier likes this one. He says this is the one that works the best. A lot of people really claim this is the, the best one out there. It is $89 and it lasts about, I don't know, maybe a month for Chino. And so he's on this. He'll probably be on this for the rest of his life. And the last thing that we got, you guys, and I'm excited about it and I'm gonna talk for a few minutes and explain it because I'm so excited about it It's in the silver bag you guys It's in the silver bag. So this is what I got. I got quiescent magnesium and chromium pellet for equine So typically this is for metabolic horses. It was perfect for Stella. It was a metabolic uh, Thing that's for horses that gain weight really fast basically overweight horses do really well on this but the thing about this supplement is that it changed Stella. When we moved Stella from Fiona's place, you guys saw that we ended up having some problems with her because she was terrified there. It was a big, huge arena, uh, angry field. I felt like she felt scared there. And she, it was just too big of a place for her, not like what she needed. And we put her on this for her metabolic issues to help her lose weight. And it calmed her and relaxed her in a way that nothing else has ever done. And she did amazing on this. Eventually we were able to take her off of it because she just got to be so happy we're living at home with us. Um, so we're gonna try Storm on this. Like I asked Fiona, what should I try for Storm? Because she knows more about this stuff. And she said, put him on the quiescence. It worked so well for Stella. It's probably gonna work real just as well for him. So I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna give it to him and I'm gonna watch him. I wanna give it to him during the day so I can watch and see how he is. I know the first day we gave it to Stella, she was like, her head was on the ground. She was so like kind of knocked out from it. And um, I'm gonna try it with Storm and watch him. I don't necessarily believe in giving ear horse calming supplements, but sometimes I feel like there's a need and Storm's living alone right now and I know he hates it and I don't want that for him. But soon, in another less than a week, he in a few days, they're moving to a new barn, a new herd, and he's gonna be back with my horses. And I want him feeling happy and feeling his best. And if this is what it's gonna take, then this is what's gonna happen. And that's, that's just how it has to be. You didn't say how much it was. Oh, it is. Um, so this is just a small bottle. It only lasts for about two weeks and it's $50, $46.99. Um, if he responds well on this, then I'll go to another store which has the bigger bottle and it's at about $200. So, um, and it lasts longer, it lasts a couple of months. It's about four of these for $200. Um, I also wanted to say that Finn and Chino have changed they are such different horses now too. They're so much more approachable. Like they come running to us. They're excited. They're live. They live in harmony right now. And I don't want to destroy that for them. I want them to. I want them to have happiness. And I want Storm to be happy. So this is what we're gonna try. And I know there are some training things you can do with Storm to help him with his dominance. And if a time comes that we can do that with him, then we will. We are gonna need help with it. And having him at another barn is gonna make it hard to do that kind of stuff. But. If we can get there, we will. It's not what we need, but let's look and see what they have. So, Sylvia and I are at Michael's now. My phone's going off. Um, and she's looking for Daiso clay. 
I've gotten it before. You have gotten it before? Yeah. Where'd you I get it? it? Alright, well then we gotta order it. Do you remember where you ordered it or did Dad order it for you? I ordered it. You ordered it? Oh, from Wish. Wish. But Wish is taking a really long time. Alright, well go ahead and order it from Wish then. Um, but I, I want to see if it works with, um, it's a kind of clay model magic. She wants to see if Daiso clay works with model magic. So we are at, what? No. Oh. I want to see if the thing works with model magic clay. Oh, okay. I have no idea what she's talking about. I'm just following along in my kids' lives, enjoying them, spending time with them. Oh, we're walking backwards. That's what you do when you're going against the arrow. <laughs> I kind of want to get some sketch pads. Mom, I'm going to go get one. All right, let's go get what you need, Sophie. Ooh, that would make something so pretty. This is a super busy store. Glitters. Yeah, that is so nice. Look, we're not supposed to go this down this aisle or something. I don't know, what does an X mean? I've never seen an X. Not to go this way. Oh, oh, okay. Go Those are so pretty, though. I got... I love the bottles that sparkles come in because you can always reuse these. I like this Sophie has a bunch of little ones. I use them all. Yeah, all right. Sometimes I also feel like my children are misleading me, leading me down the wrong path. I don't feel like Sophie knows where she's going. Walking against the X. I don't mind walking against an X as long as nobody else is in the aisle. If somebody else is in the aisle, then I won't. Okay, so I want... Um. I like this color. It's super pretty. Have you guys ever tried Model Magic? It's really nice clay. So I have been thinking about what my new horse's color. I better get this horse. Like after all this thinking and planning. So I've been thinking about obviously I want her to have pink and she's a dark bay. And I want her to have like um I think like a dark pink, dark pink or light pink, I haven't decided. But I feel like God is telling me that her color is light blue, like this color of light blue. Like, I can't tell you how many times I feel like God is telling me that, but Sophie has that color. I don't want to take it from her. So, technically we have this saddle, which is Gabby's first ever saddle. Um, we also have, we also have a saddle that I bought from Fiona that was Stella's saddle. I think it's this one. This one right here, Stella's saddle. Probably all fit my new horse. So I'll have to get them checked though. Technically though, this is my saddle. It's a Wintech. It's nice and light. It's a Western. It is light. If I have to ride in this, then this is what I'll have to ride on until I find something that it works best for us. The thing about saddles is that it's really impossible to find a saddle online and then buy it and have it shipped to you because you don't know if it's going to fit anybody. You need to be able to try it. So that the tricky thing with saddles but i'm going to work through that and i'm going to get myself a saddle like this is such a different experience for me so if he's going to give the cat some water i'm going to give storm his supplement so this is it there's a loading dose i'm going to give him a little bit lower than what we gave to stella stella weighed more than him he was like 1200 pounds way back when and she was 1300 pounds or maybe he was 11. he was almost 1200 pounds and she was 1300 pounds and um, we gave Stella a loading dose of three scoops and it zonked her. So I'm going to give uh, him a loading dose of two scoops and then try one scoop each day. For anybody who's interested, this is the other size that the Quiescence comes in. These are, this is the size. And it was $200, just under $200. So you were getting like a little bit of a deal if you bought the bigger one, but I wanna try it before I switch up to a bigger one. Kaylee has a bunch of apple trees at her house, and so every time we go there, her dad gives us a bag of apples. These are perfect, I washed them all, because there are some viruses or bacteria. There are some bacteria and bugs that can grow on apples that can make your horse really Mom, sick. It would cool. So I always wash them all. Okay, um, so you did this. So this is... Oh, poke a hole in it? Yeah, it already broke open. This is. Chino supplemented uh, vacuum packed. So well, on the other side, a lot of air came out. Yeah, so there's more in here than what it looks like. It's just compressed really tight. I put it in this big container and put a lid on it. So I'm gonna have to label everything before they go to their new barn. So Ollie wasn't in the room that we locked them in. He came down from the hayloft. And can he come back in like he came down? Yeah. Ollie, Oliver. 
They're supposed to be hay. Maybe he needed a drink. This is what the farrier's formula looks like. Storm used to take this, but our farrier says that his feet are not bad at all. The only problem he has with his feet is that they're kind of flat, a little bit flat, and that they he has the underslung heels. But other than that, only Chino needs this. This is where you found him? Yeah. How do you know he was up there then? Because he wasn't here before. So you didn't actually see him up and there? I heard his, the, his bell on his collar. Oh, well behave. All right, we are gonna go out there and try and give Storm a lint. It's a little, it's almost noon, so it's a bit late to give him this supplement. We do ours in the morning. I just don't want to give it to him and not be here to watch him, if that makes sense. Hey, handsome. Hi. Hi. You want to give him the supplement and then an apple? Yeah. He's like, you're here. Feels like forever since we've ridden our horses. We only rode them one time so far this week and tomorrow will be the second time. Hi bud. We got some supplement, I hope you like it. Doing a little at a time so it doesn't spill. Yeah. This is gonna make you happy. It's gonna make you a happy horse. He actually likes it. Yeah, he does like it. He needs it. I talked to the owner of my horse right today. Oh man, we're both excited for me to meet her. I want to show you her picture and so you guys can see how beautiful she is. Like her, she has the kindest eye on earth. And I want to show you, and I want to tell you guys her name. And I want to talk about her name. Make sure he gets it all. It's a lot of money for wasting. Which is why it's better in green. I know. Tomorrow he'll get it in grain. All right. So there's that. You want to give him an apple? I love giving Storm an apple because if you just hold it in your hand. Storm gets this one. If you, uh -huh. I always give Chino the biggest, Storm the second biggest. If you just hold it in your hand, he bites it in half. Then he had to take it away or else. Yeah. This is Finn's. I feel like we talk about all the bad stuff that is Storm, his behaviors and stuff, and we never talk about all the amazing that is Storm. Storm is so worth so much. That is not Finn's. Look, Finn gets the baby apple. You guys are about to get your friend back. I'm not joking. So if you still have the biggest apple for you, I hope you appreciate it. Oh, his thing came off. Bite it. Good boy. Bite. Chino bites. Come look at Finn's. Finn Good boy. That's for you. We'll have a ride to her. Yeah, that's where he got that bumblebee bite. He's been scratching at it. All right, so Sophie is going to groom the girls because it's been a couple of days. Yeah, I'm going to I'm just cleaning the barn. Yeah, because they are looking a little rough. Willow is looking so fat. It's just so <laughs> stressful. It's either don't feed Willow and starve Gracie or feed Gracie and Willow gets fat. Like, uh, she's headed for a bad situation. I'm gonna have to maybe feed them in their stalls, which is not a good situation. Hopefully, my new horse will be the leader, but she won't be, I already know. Oh yeah, groom that girl. I want you to groom them both, okay? So, I just told Sam he has to start feeding them at least three piles because Gracie will eat, Willow will eat all. Okay, do that again, like she is. I don't know, what is wrong with you? Uh, because Gracie, Willow will eat all her hay and then push Gracie off her hay and get all of it. So if we do it in three or four piles, even though they're small, Gracie keeps going to a new pile, so at least she's getting it. But Gracie looks great and Willow doesn't. I mean, we could. Maybe give her some medicine. Because that metabolic stuff, like when horses, Are you giving Willow sometimes some horses when they reach a certain age, especially mares, when they reach a certain age, they it's harder for them to maintain their weight on less food. Just literally my problem. And then maybe she wouldn't be so bossy, and then maybe there will be happiness in our little herd. It is day two of cutting the arena grass. I have to get this done because we have lessons early in the morning, and I want to get it done. Uh, so I need to get it done, but imagine cutting this big huge field of grass after galloping your horse a whole bunch of times and your back is aching, your legs are aching, like I got no muscles in my legs at the moment, but I will get it done you guys. Don't you know that you're beautiful?